7 a.m. Pretty early. Kind of being quiet right now, but uh, MacBook ready. Kind of sealing in the edges here. So, because we're only going to have these uh, friggin' panels right here, everything else is going to be exposed. It's pretty cold this morning, so we're going to try to stay a little bit warm. All right, so we found this hardtop on Facebook Marketplace. It was posted about 20 minutes ago. Uh, it's a pretty good price. Uh, it just does not have the freedom panels up here. And is um, I asked him if he would trade for a, my old MacBook. So it, it kind of worked out pretty good. You know, we just got the twill top. So now uh, we're able to get the hard top. We just got to find some freedom panels. But yeah, it's, it looks pretty good. It's, um, it's for my year model. So looks pretty good from the pictures. We're going to go pick this top up really quick and show you guys. to the house at the hard top rode a lot quieter back on the uh, interstate it did feel a little bit different uh driving it back it, it just felt the jeep kind of felt a little bit heavier i felt like i had to give a little bit more gas that could have just been me being tired of driving but uh yeah it also felt like it kind of got pushed around with the wind a little more maybe that was just because it was windier i don't know but uh yeah i'll decide on that later but this is the hard top it's a 2011 through 2018 model hardtop. You can tell because the distance right here is uh, smaller. So basically the back window from like the 07 to 2010, the window would stop right here. But on 2011, when they changed the interior, they moved the window over a little bit to right here. So you've got a bigger back window and that also goes for the side windows too. So this section is going to be smaller because they extended the window over this way some more that goes with the two doors as well so pretty cool uh yeah obviously you guys can see it's got some scuffs and stuff like that on it and it also is dirty but that is no problem you guys know what we're about to do we got some simple green going on here get it all cleaned up and then we're going to touch it up obviously in the spots it needs it's not a big deal because you know the top is not brand new neither is the jeep um it gives the character it's gonna be going off road too so you know i can't keep it perfect all right you guys already know we're gonna be cleaning this with some simple green went back to brand new
tell them to change the oil on this thing. Um, I haven't changed it since I got it. Should have changed the oil when I got it, but it looked okay. Um, you know, it wasn't like too low or dirty or miscolored or anything weird whenever I got the dude, but it is definitely time to change the oil. So we just went and picked up some uh, Mobile One. Good brand. It's a little more on the expensive side. But that's all right, uh, I'd pay for quality. So here we have 520 on a 3.6. Just gonna unclip this off, get started pretty much. Pretty, pretty much gonna be self-explanatory stuff here. Gonna go ahead and pop this off too, get it going, start draining it. Really simple self-explanatory stuff. Gonna get that fresh oil. Here we are with the Mobile One, full synthetic 520. This is what we always keep in our Jeeps. And we got one with the Mopar filter, MO744. All right, so the oil filter cartridge is gonna be a 24 millimeter here. I've got an extension with this ratchet. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of tutorials on how to change the oil on a Jeep Wrangler. Just kind of showing you guys my experience of, you know, first time I'm changing the oil. So, you know, if I pull this cap off and something's broken or something, then you guys can experience that with me. Don't forget the rag, because that is going to drop some oil. All right. Time to inspect this. Just wanted to point something out. If you guys have a 2013 or 2012 too, actually, uh, 3.6. Let me show you guys. All right, so this little uh, spring-loaded piece right here for the cartridge, that is insanely easy to break. It broke on Big Sauce on the last Jeep. Somehow, I don't even know. I think it was from previous owner, but I had to transfer this little piece to each new cartridge every time. So uh, apparently they fixed this with a whole new assembly on this unit right here on uh, the 2014 model. So, so yeah, just something to be mindful of when you're doing a cartridge swap there. All right, so it looks like we've got this little plastic piece that we've got to transfer over to the other filter. Um, I'm pretty sure that's on all of them, not 100% sure. Just gonna push it through the old filter here somehow. Oh. All right, so there's that. Yeah, so there's that thing that we're gonna try and finesse it in the new one. Probably gonna have to stick a screwdriver in there and pop it through. I don't think that Yeah, leave, leave a comment below if you guys think that this is um, a transfer item for each new cartridge, because that's kind of a pain to kind of get that in there. Yeah, whoever had this uh, drain bolt on before me had it on stupid tight. Way too tight. Let her drain. Oh, that's filling up kind of quick. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's filling up kind of quick for real. Hopefully it'll die down in a second, jeez. All right, so far we have not spilled any on the garage floor. It's a plus. But check out that nasty oil though. Dang, you can't even like, yeah, it just looks solid. Jeez, 
Looks like some brownie butter or something. Put six quarts in, which is what's supposed to be in there from what I read, so it should be perfect. 